I'm actually a pretty big fan of Subaru's Crosstrek, having recommended the small but tall wagony crossover thing to a number of my friends. But I don't think I'd recommend this one, the 2019 Subaru Crosstrek plug-in hybrid specifically. Stick around and I'll explain why. Now you can spot a Crosstrek hybrid in the wild by its charging port. Plugging into a level two outlet for about two hours nets you around 17 miles of electric range before you switch to hybrid operation. That's gonna charge an 8.8 .8 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack underneath the cargo floor, or more specifically, protruding into the cargo space. It costs you about five cubic feet of cargo space, which is a pretty significant amount. Now you can leave the charging cable at home since it is a hybrid and you don't really need it on the road, but that still doesn't leave a whole lot of space underneath this flimsy cargo cover. Now, losing about 25% of your storage space for a battery pack is a pretty big ask for a class of car like this that people typically buy for their spaciousness and utility, but is a trade-off worth making? Well, at the business end, the Crosstrex hybrid system features a two liter boxer four cylinder engine that along with an electric motor makes about 148 horsepower. Now, that's a couple of ponies short of the non-hybrids 152, but there is an additional torque that you get from the electric motor. So off the line, this thing does feel a little bit more responsive. However, once you get up to speed, it does feel a lot like the same Crosstrek that we've already known. There's about 500 pounds of extra battery hanging out back there, so you do feel that in the corners. And once the battery pack is depleted, it does start to feel a little bit sluggish, especially when you're headed up hills. That's the trade-off to performance that I don't know a lot of drivers are gonna wanna make. For the trouble, the Crosstrek returns around 35 miles per gallon combined when operating in hybrid mode which isn't that much more than the non-hybrid. But for those first 17 electric miles, you're looking at 90 MPGE, which should help you pull that average up. I'm averaging around 36 miles per gallon with daily recharging, which isn't that great. But if you drive less than I do and recharge more, well, your mileage may vary considerably. Other than the hybrid system and the compromises that come with it, this feels a lot like the same Crosstrek that we knew before, including the same safety tech, starting with the EyeSight camera system, which is standard, and the Starlink dashboard tech, which we talk about in a separate video. But there is one more compromise that we need to talk about. Of course, the final straw is the price. You see, a well-equipped non-hybrid Crosstrek tops out at around $29,000 but this bad boy starts at 35. That's a $6,000 price premium before options. We're looking at a $39,000 car right here. That's a bit ridiculous when you consider it comes with a number of compromises and only the potential, but not necessarily the promise of better fuel economy. Before you go, hit the subscribe button for even more cool car videos from the Roadshow crew here.